Hello. Good morning. Welcome to Talking Points with Dr. Anoop. Today we will talk about blood sugar testing versus urine sugar testing. What is the need for talking about urine sugar testing? In many countries, urine sugar testing is still used for monitoring the blood sugars of the patient. To see how is the patient's blood sugar doing, people check sugar in the urine. I was actually in England two years ago and even there they use urine testing strips in many places. Some places use blood sugar testing strips. I am online on Facebook and I talk to patients and in many countries they still use urine sugar testing strips to monitor diabetes. In my personal opinion, that's not a good idea and I will tell you why. When you check sugar in the blood by blood testing strips, it tells you how much is the sugar, 120, 140, 200, 90, whatever. Now look at the urine sugar testing. The sugar does not appear in urine till it crosses 180 milligram percent in the blood. The patient's kidneys can stop the sugar from going out in the urine till it reaches 180 milligram percent. Once it is more than 180 milligram percent, 200, 220, then it starts as they call spilling in the urine. So, if you are testing urine and your urine is negative all the time, you won't know if your sugar is 160 or 170 or 150. And we know that as diabetics, our sugar should be between 120 and 140. Even two hours after eating food, it should be below 140. So, when the sugar was high, 150 or 160 or something like that, it was causing some damage to our body and if that high sugar is there for a long time, it can cause permanent damage to the body causing us to or causing a patient to become blind, have kidney impairment, kidney failure, heart attack, stroke, impotence, peripheral vascular disease, foot loss, neuropathy, there are so many complications. So, number one is you cannot know if the urine sugar is up to 180 by checking urine because up to 180 blood sugar the urine will become or urine will remain negative it only becomes positive once the blood sugars cross 180 second problem with the urine is urine is a collection so you don't pass urine every second you pass urine after four hours six hours eight hours like that so that urine is an average so suppose your sugar was very high 240 or 300 for two hours and at other times it was say 120 it was low so the urine will give you like an average so you will hardly see any sugar in the urine or you will see trace sugar in the urine and you will think your sugar was not really high whereas it was really very high so those people who check urine sugar as the first thing in the morning are not doing themselves a favor because it gives an average and even if there were peaks of sugar during the night they will be diluted in other times when there were no peaks and we know that when the sugar is high it causes permanent damage to our body the third thing is when a patient has diabetes for a few years and especially if it is not well controlled then the kidneys get damaged and a damaged kidney may not be excreting the sugar as it is supposed to excrete they may be excreting the sugar once it reaches 200 220 maybe the kidney is not making urine properly so if you check the sugar in the urine you will be getting a very misleading reading you won't have real idea as to what the reading is even if you are passing the urine and then waiting for 15 minutes and passing the urine again and checking the urine sugar in the second urine which is the right way to do it if you have to check urine sugar because then it will remove the average portion of 
the urine sugar testing the problem with the average it will remove so three problems with urine sugar testing number one it does not tell us about blood sugar till 180 number two the urine is an average of all the urine passed between two episodes of passing urine or two occasions of passing urine whatever you want to call and number three because of diabetes and associated blood pressure if the kidneys are damaged the sugar that is coming out in urine will not really reflect what is written on the bottle that 2 plus sugar is uh, equivalent to 240 or something it won't correspond to that so even if you cannot do a blood sugar testing every day do it because that is the preferred method if you are doing urine sugar testing every day but you can only do blood sugar testing once in three four five days do blood sugar testing it's much better if you live in a country where blood sugar testing is just not available or for any other reason the blood sugar testing is just not available then you can use the urine sugar testing but know how it correlates with your blood sugar and even then pass the urine which is there in your bladder wait for 15 minutes pass the urine again and check the sugar in that second urine but if you can in any way do a blood sugar test go for it because it's a much better test urine sugar test is not only a poor quality test because it doesn't tell about sugar till 180 it is also confusing and misleading because urine is an average of all the past hours of urine past which is collected in the bladder and if you have a kidney problem because of diabetes high blood pressure etc then the testing in the urine will not reflect the real levels of sugar in your blood so my vote goes for blood sugar testing.